Hi guys! So today I wanted to show you my go-to natural and light makeup look that I love to wear just day to day when I'm running around, running errands, or traveling because it's very quick and easy. So why don't we jump right in? So today I wanted to start where every makeup look really starts, which is my pre-makeup skincare routine. I feel like taking the right steps before you apply your makeup is going to make sure you get a better result. So I like to start off with a refreshing daily facial scrub. So I'm going to be using this one by Aveeno. It is the Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. And I like this one because it is gentle enough to use every day. So this is really going to scrub away any dry skin or rough areas that I might have on my face. With which helps my makeup go on a lot more smoothly and evenly and again I just feel like it really helps to get my day going because it's just so refreshing. So then we're going to move on to my favorite step in my pre-makeup skincare routine which is toner and I'm going to be using the Aveeno Positively Radiant Toner. So I feel like this is such a small step that has so many benefits because when I do it on a daily basis I feel like it keeps my skin looking so much more noticeably younger and just fresher all around. I like to get a little bit of this toner on a little cotton round and then just sweep it all over my face and this one is really nice too because it is alcohol free so it's refreshing without feeling really tight and dry on your skin so then I'm ready to move over to my vanity to finish up the makeup look so the first product I'm gonna be using is also gonna serve as my moisturizer I'm using the clear complexion BB cream by Aveeno in the shade fair to light and I love this because it gives me protection from the Sun because it's SPF 30 and it moisturizes my skin really evens it out and brightens up my complexion another thing this does that I love is it helps to fade the look of dark marks from previous breakouts and it won't clog my pores I really like this too because it's creamier so it, you get a little bit of coverage from it but it doesn't get shiny and I think it's just easiest to apply this with my fingers to really blend it into the skin and warm up the product so once my skin tone is a bit more evened out I'm gonna use my NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade Chantilly and this is it looks like it really goes on super full coverage but once you do blend it out it gives you more of just a luminous airbrush look to your under eye area so I'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes and then just blend that out with a damp beauty sponge So once I have my concealer on I feel like I start to look so much more awake and even if I'm in a rush in the morning I always have time for a quick swipe of my Benefit Gimme Brow. I use the shade Light Medium. This is the best brow mascara ever. It's just such a great consistency and you can really get a nice shape to your brows with this product. Then I'm going to set the BB cream with my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder Foundation. I'm using the shade 120 Neutral Ivory and just kind of dusting that across my face and patting it on top of that BB cream to set it. Then I'm going to pick up my Bare Minerals, the Skinny Dip Bronzer, and just dust that all over my face with a fluffy brush. So I like to apply that to the hollows of my cheeks. Kind of do a three motion from my temples to the hollows of my cheeks and underneath my jawline. And then just blend it all over my forehead. I really like to warm up my skin a lot. And then what I like to do when I'm in a hurry too is take some of my bronzer and just apply it to the front of my cheeks as well so that I'm kind of doing a blush and a bronzer in one and I have a little bit of color on my cheeks then I want to take my Mary Luminizer by the balm I love using highlighters even for lighter makeup looks because I feel like it really enhances your complexion but it still looks natural and very fresh faced so after I brush that onto my cheekbones and applied some of it onto my cupid's bow as well I'm gonna pick up a little fluffy eyeshadow brush and just start patting that luminizer around the tear duct and really brightening up that inner corner of my eye then I'm gonna go back to the bronzer that I used before and just dip a big fluffy crease brush into it and I'm going to apply that to the crease of my eye in very circular kind of blendy brush strokes because I just want very light definition in that area just to kind of frame up my eye 
I just like to continue going back and forth with that windshield wiper motion until it looks like everything is really soft and blended out. Then I'm gonna take my Benefit There Real Mascara and pop that onto my upper and lower lashes. I do like to take my time and do a couple coats, sometimes even three coats of my mascara, especially when I'm not doing false lashes because especially with the Their Real Mascara, you can really get a ton of volume and length. So again, I usually do like two to three coats at least. <laughs> Today I'm using my favorite, my Tartlet Lipstick in Ethereal Pink by Tarte Cosmetics. And this is such a great everyday color and it's so creamy and moisturizing and comfortable to wear. I feel like it's definitely my on the go, always have it in my bag lipstick. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just wanted to show you my go-to skincare and makeup routine when I just want a light and natural look for every day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.